Coming up in this FinCast, how do you know when it's time to clean your filter and a great new product that will help your aquarium look even better? I use the Chemapure Elite and uh, Nuvo 16 and you know, a couple teaspoons on each, in a bag on each side and change it out like once a month and it just keeps everything pure and clean, no phosphates, everything's good to go. Uh, it's pretty much a worry-free system because of the Chemapure. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast and today I want to talk a little bit about how you can just tell by looking at your aquarium when it's time to maybe get the muck out of the bottom of your filter and it's really not that hard to tell but I also want to tell you about when you clean your filter a new product from folks that have been around in this aquarium hobby for more than 50 years and those are the uh, the folks at Chemipure and they are out with a new product designed for freshwater aquariums and in particular you can tell by the fact that it says green on the label that it is also uh, particularly good for planted aquariums, which is uh, pretty much what we've been working on in the last series of FinCasts with my huge driftwood project. So I'll tell you a little bit more about Chemipure Green as well in this FinCast. But what I want to talk about right now is how to just look at a glance and know if it's time to change your filter. And that was a question when I had my store that a lot of people would say. It was like, well, I put charcoal in my filter. Or I, I didn't know how often to change it. And, and a lot of that comes down to what we call bio load in your aquarium, which is how many fish do you have in your aquarium and, uh, and how much uh, uh, carrying capacity does that aquarium have? In other words, how big is the aquarium? Do you have plants? What are the other things you have going on in your tank that might be helping uh, keep your water clean uh, or vice versa? So, uh, and the, and the an obvious answer is, is the more fish you have in a smaller space, the more often you have to change your filtration, right? And if you have plants that are doing well, then they're going to help and they're going to use some of the waste from the fish, but probably not all of it. And uh, the other thing that I think you'll find is that uh, if you have plant matter that is decaying in the tank um, or if you overfeed your fish, you're going to find you need to change your filtration more often because either the fish are not going to eat the food and it'll go to the bottom and it will decay, which is going to make essentially pollute your water, or the fish will eat the food, which is great, but then they're going to poop more often. And when they poop more often, you're going to have the same problem and your filtration will only be able to keep up with it for just so long. So then it comes down to, well, how do you know just by looking what to do uh, in terms of changing out your aquarium filter? And the answer is you can tell by watching your fish if they're nervous, if they're darting around a lot, if they're not just placidly swimming, then it's probably uh, at a point where your nitrates, which are not toxic to fish, have risen to the point where your filtration isn't keeping up with it anymore. And if you have a lot of muck in the bottom of your filter, whether it's a hang-on-back filter or a canister filter like I use, then that may even be contaminating the water. So that's how you can tell. The fish are darting around, they're looking nervous, they, they go in the corners, or if you walk by the tank, they aren't anxious to see you. Um, then you know it's probably time to change your filtration. So uh, I use canister filters on this particular huge driftwood project because I had an extra one. I'm using two canister filters, and that kind of lulled me into a false sense of security because I'm so over-filtering this tank that I thought, well, I don't have to worry about it. But sure enough, I came back from my Christmas vacation. I was gone for a little while, and I noticed that the fish just weren't particularly happy. There's no nothing slimy in the tank. I was getting a little bit of algae on the glass, which is rare because, as you may have heard me report in some of my earlier fin casts that uh, I had not had to wipe the glass once. Well, now I've had to wipe the glass a couple of times, and that tells me, yeah, I've finally the uh, the waste load has caught up with my uh, filtration level, so it's time to change the tank. Well, lo and behold, again, the, the folks at Chemipure uh, had come out with this new product, and they sent me some. And full disclosure here, uh, I have worked with the folks at Chemipure for a long time. They're a longtime sponsor of FinCasters. I have gone to trade shows and, and worked in their booth and described to people the, the value of this. But this is a, uh, a new product. It's the Chemipure Green, which follows on the heels of Chemipure Blue, which has a blue cap and is designed for marine aquariums, but they have changed the process at Chemipure, uh, and they're now using a new extruded carbon. And the extruded carbon is different 
it's still a pellet, but it's a pellet that looks more like rabbit food, if you will. And it comes out in a long tube, which is the extruded process. And then they chop it up into little bits. But by doing that, they've done a couple of things. Number one, they've created more surface area for the water to flow over. So it filters more using fewer pellets. Uh, or it filters more using just as many pellets and it lasts longer and it's more effective. But the other thing they've done is they've been able to reduce the dust. Now, the Chemi Pure that's been around forever, the original Chemi Pure, is still a great product, but one of the things that, that people found is when you first took it out of the bag, you had to wash it off and there was a lot of dust and it seemed like it went forever. And if you forgot to do that, all that dust went into your aquarium. Didn't harm anything, but that was something that people didn't like and you had cloudy water for 15 or 20 minutes until it all settled out, no big deal. But now with the new stuff, you don't have that problem at all. If you're new to ChemiPure, if you've never heard of ChemiPure, let me show you how it works. First thing is this is how you uh, properly clean your aquarium media if you haven't done it before. Uh, or maybe you've done it for a long time and you were doing it wrong and you were probably over rinsing. So when you get inside your canister filter, you'll find several layers. Uh, the first layer is where we'll put the Chemi Pure. We'll talk about that in a minute. The second layer and the third layer in, in my filter are both basically bio collectors and these are units that have a lot of surface area they collect beneficial bacteria just like at your local water treatment plant and that bacteria is there to break down the waste think of it as like a probiotic for your body Okay, so what you do is you just want to rinse those off gently. You want to get the crud off of them, but you don't want to clean them completely and you don't want to kill all the bacteria that's on them. And you don't want to leave them exposed to the air for very long. So you want to leave them wet, rinse them off, get the crud off and set those aside. At the very bottom of your canister filter, in, in my case, I've got two pieces of sponge that essentially collect gunk. And you can see that in this, this particular filter, the gunk was Ugh. And so you want to rinse that out as well as you can under running water until you don't get any more gunk and then dump out the filter. You probably have a collection of gunk in the bottom. Get rid of that as well. Then put it all back in. And this is where the ChemiPure comes in. It comes in a bag. Give it a gentle rinse. A little bit of dust will come off. Put it in the top level of your canister filter, or if you have a hang on back filter, simply lay it in on top of your filter. You want places where water can flow through it, and there's a lot of evidence to suggest that flowing through under pressure, which is what you get in one of these filters, is the best way to use uh, an activated carbon. And ChemiPure also has uh, other agents in it that remove dissolved organics and other things that just make your, uh, your aquarium spectacular. And you will get crystal clear water, I guarantee it. Uh, and a lot of times, even if you have tannins in your water the chemi pure will remove the tannins like from driftwood the brown stuff that makes your water tea colored uh, and put it back into your system uh, you will notice within a day or two at the most that all of a sudden those fish aren't darting around anymore you'll notice that uh, your water is crystal clear it almost has like a blue clearness to it which is extremely desirable in my opinion uh, and that the aquarium is very happy and the new uh, the new planted chemi pure is designed to take out all the elements that are detrimental to plants but leaves everything else that makes your plants happy so it won't take your co2 out of the water it won't take the uh, specific elements that you might be dosing for your plants and that water will stay crystal clear and it, it is good for up to four months but again it it comes down to the bio load in your aquarium the more fish you have the less filtration you have the more often you need to change your ChemiPure. But I'm telling you that this is this is a product that people have used for 50 years. Some people brag that they never even do water changes. They just change the ChemiPure. I'm still a fan of water changes. I think you should do water changes, but this is a product that I can recommend without hesitation. It just simply works. So new ChemiPure comes in three different sizes. There's the regular size, which is uh, treats up to 75 gallons, and that's the 11 ounce can. There's a smaller container, which is the 5.5 ounce, and then this is great for nano tanks. The new Chemi Pure Green, and and this is uh, what a lot of people are starting to use in their little nano shrimp aquariums. And you don't even have to put this in the filter; you can simply hang it or hide it somewhere in the tank, and it will do its job. Again, I think it's better with water flowing over it. Uh, but this is the Chemi Pure Nano. 
and it comes in a, I want to say it's a 2.2 gram package uh, suggested for up to eight gallons. So uh, that is also a new product. And I think with all these nano aquariums, these shrimp aquariums, uh, which actually I have one on my desk, I just received this shipment from ChemiPure and I'll be putting it in my shrimp tank to see if that makes any difference. Uh, so, so three different sizes of ChemiPure Green and it's a new product just out on the market in very late 2016, early 2017. And you'll be seeing that uh, very soon at your retailers, wherever they carry ChemiPure. I put the ChemiPure Green in yesterday already the water is much clearer and lo and behold just as I suggested the fish actually look happier just at a glance just watching the aquarium the fish look happier and it really does happen every time uh, thank you for watching this FinCast. I do appreciate it. This is my huge driftwood project, and I have a whole series of reports on this particular 55-gallon aquarium that I've set up using basically one big piece of driftwood for all of my aquascaping needs and then putting the plants around them. If there was one thing I would change, it would be that the driftwood had maybe a little bit smaller footprint, or if I had a 75-gallon tank, that would be great because it would be wider and give me more surface area to plant my plants, but I still think it's coming along very well. In my last FinCast, we talked about tissue culture plants. Uh, here is a quick shot of the plants that I, that I put in. They're doing very well. They've grown a couple of inches in just about a week and a half, which is as advertised, and they're looking very nice, and I'm very happy that that's moving along so well. I also have a whole series of reports on marine aquariums, including everything from the latest on uh, yellow tang research to how to keep uh, various corals in your marine tank and I've got a, a nice 120 gallon marine tank in my office downstairs and so uh, we've done a lot of a lot of videos on that as well and then of course uh, all kinds of videos on cichlids so if you're a cichlid lover uh, I'm sure that you will find something that you like in my cichlid adventure series all kinds of stuff on cichlids. Thanks for watching this FinCast. This is the next to the last day of 2016, so Happy New Year to you, and we'll see you in the next FinCast.